Welcome to the CAD Office Training Guide Series for FDOT Connect. I am Randy Roberts, CAD Application Support Specialist 4, and today I will be going through the FDOT Connect Traffic Plans Course Guide. In this series of videos, I will take you step by step through each exercise from the course guide. Today we will start with Chapter 1 of the course guide, Open Roads designer setup. Topics covered in this chapter will be F.Workspace, Workspace, F dot work sets, creating a new work set, and the create file process. Let's begin. If this is your first time opening F.OpenRose Designer, you will need to do some basic setup before you can begin your project design. This chapter will cover the basics. Starting with the f.workspace. When you launch f.ord, you are greeted with the following screen. ORD needs a starting point to begin, so you will need to point to a workspace and a work set, which are located right here. Currently, this course guide is set up to use the f.workspace, but if you do work for additional agencies, you can have multiple workspaces. For work set, that is your project number, what you'd be working on in this course guide. We're working on this particular work set. So in this case, it's already filled in for you with the, the proper setup. However, if, if it's your first time opening, your workspace would be set to no workspace and your project would be set to the default zero work set template, which is there to provide a starting point for your project. If you have worked in this work set before, a list of recently opened files are visible and are ready to be opened. The recent files list only applies to the current work set. You do not need to do this for this course guide, but this topic is for future reference on starting a new project from scratch. Setting the workspace to F dot, you can pull down the work set list and create a new work set. The create work set dialog box opens and you can fill in all of your required data for your new project. When you are using the create work set, dialog, it is important to select the zero work set template as your first template to use. That's will allow your project to be based off of f.dot's file hierarchy. Since this is not required for this chapter, I'll go ahead and hit cancel. So basically what happens is when you create a new project based off of the zero work set template, it will copy that structure and rename it to your project name or project number. And inside of that, you will find a blank file, DGN, and this will be your starting point. And as you can see on the screen here, the this file should not be used for f.work. It is just a starting point. So if you were starting a brand new project, and creating your design files, you would switch over to the F dot ribbon and click on the create file application. So providing a brief overview of the create file application, starting at the top, work set. The work set by default should be the current work set where your project is located. This will allow the create file to create and place new files in the proper project folder. The discipline options are listed here on the screen. As you can see, there's uh, plenty of those. The signing and payment marking design files will be in the roadway discipline. The discipline choice controls what file names are used. The file group controls what component discipline is displayed upon selection. The S and PM plans, the signing and payment marking plans, will use the signing and payment marking file group, which is right here, signing and payment marking design files. So when you make your selections, 
this file type will change to basically what your selection set is. The file type displays the base file name along with a description of what the file name contains. Moving down to the output file, this selection displays the actual name of the file, including the file sequence number and extension. A modifier entry box is also available as an optional entry. A path is displayed showing the name and the location of where the application will put the design file. The output folder is automatically selected as the location of the file based on f.standards. If the box is green, that means it has found the project folder structure and the target folder exists. If the box is red, that means the target folder does not exist within the project folder. There is a browse button available, which will allow you to search for the folder in question. The seed file is automatically selected based on standards. However, the designer can browse to a different one if required. The county and coordinate system are linked. If the designer changes the county, the coordinate system will change if the new county is in a different coordinate system. Create open file when selected will create and open the file in the background. The designer can create as many files at once as needed. When the desired files are created, select close to exit the dialog. It's important to note there are two additional files that must travel if you copy your project. It is the file shown on the screen. One is a Bentley MicroStation configuration file and the other one is the DGNWS file. Those must remain in your work set folder. Like I was saying, if you wanted to copy your file, these files must go with that project folder. Thank you for joining me today for chapter one of the F.Connect for Open Roads Designer Traffic Plans course guide.